if, you know, you and Zion, you know, a lot, a lot of people love that storyline. Just what was it like first time in, I think, 647 days that y'all shared a basketball floor together and, and both played? What was it like just being um, back on the floor with him? Man, starting, it's exciting, man. You know, two guys from South Carolina where, you know, most pretty much, you know, don't make it out and, you know, being able to, you know, live out our dream, you know, playing the basketball at the highest level and, you know, being able to provide, you know, not only for ourselves but our family um, is big time. I know we both enjoy it and, you know, being out there on the floor together is, you know, even better. Uh, you know, he's a special talent, obviously. Uh, we're not used to uh, playing against each other, but <laughs> um, it's, it's still good, you know, always rooting for him, um, you know, praying, you know, he have, you know, a very healthy career to be able to, you know, showcase his talent, you know, at the highest level, you know, being 100%. Um, so uh, much respect to my guy there. Um, I think you're still wearing the higher shoe, right, coming off the ankle. Um, obviously, has no has an impact your production any, but do you feel like it's impacted your mobility any, or how's the ankle doing? Um, pretty much been playing the same way, you know. I always play the same way: low tops, high tops. Always, you know, getting out and running, playing downhill. Um, honestly, it's just to protect it more. Um, I've been adding, you know, extra tape on both uh, ankles, um, but you know, I just can't, you know not play my game because of that. Um, obviously, you know, you go through and, you know, thug some stuff out, but um, I still got to be jot at the end of the day, so. When was the last time you, like, consistently wore high tops like that? Last time I rolled my ankle. Um, I feel like y'all got the date better than me. Like, consistently? Like, because you, you've done it about three games, I think, in a row now. I did it then, too. <laughs> so whenever, I don't I forgot, man. I don't been in and out of the lineup so much. I don't know the last time. If it was last year, year before. I know I had one versus Brooklyn. I forgot what year it was. Um, that would make me, you know, get more high tops. But, um, yeah, off the top, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, but Najee Mar Marshall looked like he was coming um, over towards you guys at the end of the game and had some words. What what was that exchange about with him? I think at the free throw line too in the third quarter and then you know after the game. Just talk. Uh, I don't do all that. So uh, I guess you know. I can't, you know, I only speak on myself, how I was raised, so all of it, you know, back and forth, you know, I pretty much don't do. Um, I guess we was under his skin, you know, they was down. He got into it with, you know, some of my people on the sideline and try to start with me and, you know, say some stuff, you know, I know not going to happen. Um, yeah, so I'm not worried about it. I'm very comfortable. Hey, yeah, his teammates warned him to. So if your teammates don't do it, they know nothing about to happen. So they warned Steve-O to grab him beforehand. I feel like, you know, your team supposed to do that. You're putting your, you know, your guy at a disadvantage already if my teammate, you know, the one, especially it being Steve-O. I feel like nobody wants to, you know, <laughs> be grabbed by Steve-O. So, um, yeah. Any last questions? All right, thanks, John.